What's up Rebels, Coach Stacy here. The new movie Thor Love and Thunder is coming out soon and there is already a ton of buzz about it. And one of the things that's getting the most buzz is not only Natalie Portman's return to the franchise, but also all of the work that she did to become the mighty Thor. But what exactly did she do? We'll go over all of the information we can find on exactly what she did to build up the strength to wield the mighty Mjolnir. Let's do it. Now, Natalie is no stranger to training for a role as she went through a lot to get ready for the movie Black Swan. That wasn't the healthiest undertaking though, and Natalie has been very vocal about it in interviews since. You know, with Black Swan, a lot of the focus was on weight loss and really staying as small as possible. So I find it very refreshing to see a movie where we are focusing on building as much muscle and strength as we can. And one thing that I found interesting when I was doing research for this video is that if you watch her energy levels in the interviews when she was filming Black Swan and compare them to her energy levels in interviews when she was filming Thor. The script was really interesting and it sort of parallels to the Swan Lake stories. It was really um, exciting to obviously have the opportunity to play a superhero, I'm yeah. given that task of, of becoming. It is just a night and day difference. Even in the interviews for Thor, where she is talking about how sore she is and how hard her workouts are, she's still animated, she's still laughing, she's still having a good time, versus the Black Swan interviews, where she really just appears quite drained. And I would like to think that that is because of the total difference in training methods and that she is focusing on eating more and eating in abundance versus just trying to eat as little as possible just to get through filming and to stay small with filming. Now, in her regular life when she's not preparing for a movie, Natalie says that her routine typically looks like a couple of days a week, probably three days a week of running about an hour and then doing yoga and Pilates type exercises on the opposite days. But the lockdown was really tough on her and even she admits that it was really hard to get up the motivation to start training for Thor. I've had like months of like pandemic, you know, eating baked goods and like <laughs> lying in bed and feeling sorry for myself. So oh, yeah. it's, um, I'm like super tired after working out yeah. and during yeah. and dreading before. <laughs> and I think we can all find her sentiments there relatable. And Natalie's trainer says that they even started training out at home with limited equipment because she didn't have access to a gym and all of the equipment due to the pandemic and due to the lockdowns. So they started out at home and then once the gyms were open, then they started to use the additional equipment at the gyms. Now, finding the exact workouts that Natalie did to get ready for the role proved to be difficult, but that makes sense as a lot of trainers don't just post all of their workouts online. But we do know that Natalie worked with a woman named Naomi Pendergast, who is the trainer and director of RPX Fitness. And Natalie said she did a lot of weight training, specifically heavy weight training that she's never done before, and mentioned dumbbells as well as a combination of strength work and agility work. So we can kind of take everything that she has said in interviews, as well as things that Naomi has posted online, as well as really look at, you know, the changes to Natalie's body. We can make an educated guess on what she did and what her workouts looked like. And first, I think one of the things that we should look at were what were Natalie's goals going into this? She started about four to five months before filming started. So really needed to take that time to build muscle. And then during the movie would need to maintain that muscle. She might have wanted to lose a little bit of fat from the pandemic, but Natalie didn't have a lot of weight to lose. So that wasn't really a goal here. The goal was really to more focus on building muscle, specifically in the arms and the shoulders for that aesthetic that Thor has while remaining fairly lean and able to still stay agile and mobile so that she can do everything that Thor needs to do. And I wanted to make a note that four months for a transformation like this is not a long time. Building muscle takes time, especially for women, and it does get harder as we get older. Even Natalie said it herself in an interview. I am 
I am a almost 40 year old mother of two. Like it is a different scenario to try right. and get jacked. I'm like, I can't, I can't get up. I can't sit down. It's like, it's a situation. Yeah. And Who's also fandom? like not happening. I'm like, when, when do they come in? <laughs> Na Natalie. <laughs> so building muscle as a woman is possible at any age. It just requires consistency and patience. Natalie's results are from someone who is doing this as their full-time job and had professionals helping her every single step of the way, and she still struggles with it too. So just keep that in mind. If you are struggling to build muscle, that you can do it, just stick with it. But this is also a reason why the fear of accidentally getting bulky is unfounded. Everyone has their own opinion on what bulky looks like on them and that's totally fine. But it's not something that happens overnight or by accident. It's something that happens after a lot of very consistent training and eating to try to support muscle growth. I've personally been trying to get my biceps as big as Batman's for about 10 years now and I'm not even close, but I'm definitely not gonna let that stop me from trying. Now, Natalie mentioned working with a lot of dumbbells, which makes total sense, not only from a muscle building and strength building perspective, but also from a character's perspective, as Mjolnir is a one-handed weapon, a two-handed weapon, and a weapon that we will use with both hands independently. So having each arm be super strong makes a ton of sense. Now, looking at some videos that Naomi has released, we can see some pull-ups as well as some down dog and up dog movements. Which reminds me, does anyone here have any up dog? Up dog? Now, with the focus on Natalie's arms and shoulders, we can assume that she was also working multi-joint exercises like the dumbbell shoulder press, chest press, one arm rows, or different variations of push-ups. Now, those are fantastic exercises to build strength and work a lot of muscles all at once. In addition to those exercises, there were likely some more isolated single joint exercises for her arms and shoulders. This additional extra work would really be helpful to build that upper body size. Exercises like curls, lateral raises, or band pull-aparts in the higher end of that six to 12 rep range would be excellent for really helping Natalie achieve a strong and powerful look. The last upper body exercise I wanted to point out was this one right here. And this was definitely in Natalie's workouts. Now, while Portman's upper body gets the primary focus, she was no doubt working on her lower body too in order to move around like a superhero. Naomi's resources contain a lot of unilateral exercises, which means we're primarily working one leg at a time. The first one is a one-legged squat, which is a super challenging exercise that works balance and strength together. We also have lunges and variations of lunges, including the lateral lunge, which can really help improve mobility. And all of these can be deceptively hard, especially if you've never done them before. So feel free to hold on to something for an assist. I would also assume that some sort of two-legged squat would be in this program as well. Goblet squats are an excellent choice here. And then working in some Romanian deadlifts with dumbbells or barbells would focus more on the hips and hamstrings and would really balance out the lower body section nicely here. Now, Natalie mentions agility work and Naomi mentions a lot of skipping, backwards skipping, sidestepping, and jumping. Now you don't need to do these on a treadmill. Some easy shuffles in an open area of the gym or in your backyard would be a really fun way to move around. Naomi also specifically mentioned in an interview that they did a lot of boxing work, which would really work a lot of speed and agility as well as some extra strength in the upper body from all of that punching work. I also noticed some mountain climbing exercises in one of Naomi's videos, which is another great exercise that also works the arms at the same time. And you can do this with your hands on an elevated surface if you're just starting out. And I wouldn't be surprised if Natalie did a bunch of dynamic strength movements like a kettlebell swing as well. Any of these can be done for a minute on, a minute off for several sets. So let's put this all together as a training program. So Natalie's trainer says that they work together for five days a week for about an hour and a half to two hours at a time. 
And she mentioned starting off with doing upper body three days a week and then two days of injury prevention where they focus more on mobility and yoga and different things that help support recovery and muscle growth. So for the strength days, she focused on circuits and supersets. So this means that she would do one set of an exercise, then do one set of another exercise, and then repeat for a certain number of rounds. An example that Natalie might do would be doing 10 dumbbell rows, followed by 10 push-ups, and then followed by 10 goblet squats, and then we repeat that for three rounds, and that would be considered a circuit. Her trainer did not mention a certain amount of rest or anything like that, but with the focus being muscle size, I would imagine that the rest time would be fairly short and around 60 to 90 seconds. So speaking of goblet squats and those other lower body movements, I couldn't find an article where she mentioned them specifically, but based off of our research and her resources, for lower body, I could see her either adding it in at the end of each workout or mix it in with the circuits like I did above. Now, while both Natalie and Chris Hemsworth had their own trainers and individual programs, I read somewhere that during filming, they would do workouts together from time to time as well. And I wanted to point this out because even though they both had their own individual programs and individual trainers, a lot of the movements and exercises that they would be doing would be the same or be very similar. You know, there's small differences between men and women when it comes to training, but really at the end of the day, regardless of gender, building and maintaining muscle comes down to lifting heavy weights and eating enough to support it. Speaking of eating to support it, we haven't mentioned nutrition yet, and it's equally as important in a transformation like this. In an interview, Natalie was asked what the most important piece of advice she got from Chris was. And she said, uh, well, he, he would eat like a baby animal every half hour or something to like keep the protein going. Um, so I think that's probably, I'm going to have to figure out the like non-animal equivalent of <laughs> pounding protein. And that's the first important thing we need to focus on, which is protein. Eating enough protein is an important part of building muscle and getting it in throughout the day is the easiest way to do that. Now, like Portman mentioned, she's been a vegan for many, many years now. And it is possible to be vegan and get enough protein, but it's harder as there are just less options. So Portman had a lot of protein shakes. So there was a lot of like vegan protein shakes. Like, yeah, um, there are a lot of protein shakes. Um, <laughs> like too many and I don't want to have it anymore. <laughs> You're never going to have one again. What's great is that there are a lot of options for protein powders for vegans now. You'll find pea, hemp, rice, and soy protein among others. And these can also be great options if the traditional whey protein shake upsets your stomach. Now, if you're not vegan, you have even more options to pick from. And at that point, it really comes down to personal preference. Protein shakes are not necessary, but they're one tool that we can use to get a lot of protein in, and they can also go anywhere with you, which makes them a really easy option if you are a very busy person like the majority of us. Now, the second thing that I wanna mention here is that you've heard me say enough protein. In order to gain muscle, in addition to protein, Natalie would have needed to be eating in a surplus of calories. Now, she's not trying to gain a ton of weight, so the surplus was probably not high, but she would have needed a lot of fuel to maintain the energy levels that she would need to get through those intense two hour long workouts, in addition to the calories that she needs to help her body build back stronger. So even on her small frame, I wouldn't be surprised if Natalie was eating over 3000 calories a day. So to tie this back to, you know, the beginning where we talked about where it can be really difficult to gain muscle, especially as a woman, if you're struggling, increasing your calorie and protein intake could be a really great place to start. You know, you might just not be eating enough to support muscle growth. Okay, put this all together consistently for four months and you're sure to look like you can swing Mjolnir around. And if you're looking for someone to help you build strength like the mighty Thor, check out Nerd Fitness Online Coaching. We've helped people like Emily lose weight, feel great, get super strong, and discover what her body was capable of. Link in the description below. So what do you think about Natalie Portman's transformation? Comment and let us know below. And make sure to check out these videos where I demonstrate how to do a proper chin-up and a proper push-up so you can get super strong like Natalie too.